Hi, I'm Stu Mason, and I'm gonna show you in this video how I'm making a model context protocol server, MCP server, in Cursor. I've got a Coolify server up and running. What I want to do is interact with that server, make projects, environments, applications, databases. I want to be able to do all that within Cursor itself as I'm building the application and in Claude Desktop as well, so I can just check how my server's getting on. All of that good stuff. <laughs> How I got started is I got the, some documentation together. I got open API spec from the Coolify repo. I got the example clients. Now I can sh I'll put this in the show notes, the link to this. This is in the MCP server developers documentation. And I grabbed also the MCP TypeScript SDK readme. That's all there and that was all the initial context that I handed it. I then said, let's make a plan. Give me a bunch of features, which is done here. So the server setup, server info. It's given me all these features. I've done this. I've broken it all up into smaller pieces because Claude 3.7 is insane and we'll just try and do everything everywhere all at once. So breaking up like this and telling it to work in a specific workflow like this, saying what I want you to do is work on main, I want you to branch up onto a feature branch, I want you to commit often, I've got a nice pre-commit hook that runs all my linting and does a build as well, making sure that everything's building as expected. This is all open source, so you can come and have a look. I'll put a link to this repo as well, so you can use this if you want to mess with your Coolify, if you trust it and you want to see uh, your Coolify stuff in Air Cursor or in Cloud Desktop or whatever MCP host you're using. And also if you want to have a look at how I'm using the pre-commit hook and how I'm using um, GitHub Actions, all of this has been created by Cloud going along. It's just me prompting it, vibing along with it. I've got my next set of instructions. I'm going to put that in as context. I don't really need to do that. I could find that, but I'm going to put it in there as well. I'm also going to give it the rules because this is a brand new chat. This is context free. I want to tell it exactly how I want it to work. And then I'm going to say, let's get started on a new feature. 005. So what I'm expecting here is grab the feature workflow for me, it's grab the rules, it's going to grab the Coolify rules, it knows how I like to work and we're checking out a branch. So the feature slash application deployment branch has been checked out. What I'm then expecting is going to check the feature documentation against the open API spec. It's going to make sure that it hasn't just made up or hallucinated the endpoints when I first asked it to go through and create the plan. It's then going to just start implementing the tools. It'll implement the endpoints, it'll implement the interaction, the MCP tools, and it's going to add a bunch of tests as well. Let's just leave it to do its due, and then once that's done, we'll reboot Claude and make sure that these new endpoints are visible to us. I don't like the way it's not committing along the way. I give it rules and I tell it how I want it to work. It doesn't quite follow exactly how I want it to. It should be committing along the way because there's a pre-commit hook that will help with the linting and the building. While that's doing that, I want to talk very quickly about something. So the uh, open API spec, these are usually massive. These are usually huge because there's loads of information in here. LLMs, models, really struggle with this. The more I thought about it, the more I thought like open API specs are usually massive. So I went to Lovable and told it exactly that. I said, mate, open API specs are always massive. Let's build something to chunk it down so it's manageable for LLMs. And literally one shot this into existence where we can upload the files or paste, let's paste the content in. So we can use pasted content and then chunking strategies. So we're going from 5,000 lines by, let's group it by path. And then boom, look at that. Like we live in the future, man. This was, this was a one shot, 10 minute piece of work to get exactly what I needed to be able to feed the LLM. Anyway, cool, we're running tests. Complete the tests, it's gonna commit the work that it's done. Found an issue, should fix that now. So I'm just saying, okay, great, update the documentation to mark what you've done inside the application deployment. Then I want you to create the PR for me. Having the pre-commit hook and telling it that I want it to create the commit, I want it to do the commits, I want it to create the PR, I want it to do as much as possible because then all of the issues, it has direct view of, you know, the context is getting directly injected into what it's doing. So it's able to fix it itself. I'm not copying and pasting errors in my terminal. I'm not putting them in there. Boom, look, 
passed all the tests, the two checks are successful and go through and make sure that it's not done anything silly. Right, so then let's go into um, here. So you can see my Coolify server's running it. I've got 33 tools. It's GitHub and Coolify that I've got running in here as well. There's nothing to do with projects in there. So if I close Claw and reopen her, so it was 33, right? If we have a look in here again, we've got 34. So it's added a single application. Is this delete application the only thing you've deploy application, get application, get application log. Let's see if that works. So I've got Stuart Mason on, stuartmason.co.uk is on this server. I want you to go and grab it. So list servers from Coolify. So now it's gonna run through all my actual MCP. This is how I'm working. This is the development flow. I've got cursor up and running. I've got a bunch of rules that say exactly what I want you to do. I've broken it all down into features so it's only doing small things. I'm telling it to reference the code that I know is working, the previous code that it's already made. I really like this. It's very, very quick progress and it's clean progress as well. It's going into PRs and then I can quickly, it writes its own tests and says, yes, that works because of course it does. And then I can test it very quickly in Claude and just see are the things you're making real. Let me know what you think, man. It, does this process work for you as well? Is it too slow? Is it too clunky? How do I stop that hallucination? How, why is it making up endpoints? And how do I stop that from happening? Okay, thanks. Like and subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe to this channel for more vibe coding fucking nonsense. Peace.